Now the third. What was the moral condition of this society at that time? This is the subject matter of Surah Al-Ma'oon. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ara'ayta al-lazi yukazzibu bid-deen. Have you seen the person who denies the recompense, the judgment, the reward of the hereafter? But this was the main thing. They never said there is no Allah. They believed Allah. And they accepted that He is the creator of all the universe. Wala in saltahum man khalaqa samawati wal lard la yaqulun Allah. And also about their small gods and goddesses. They never said that they, cre they are the creators or they give us the nourishment and sustenance, no? How lie so far now in the Allah? They are going to intercede on our behalf before our Lord. So there was a very fine demarcation. But the real thing was that they didn't believe in resurrection. That was the root cause of their decay regarding morality. Have you seen the person who denies and belies the judgment, the compens, the recutal, and the reward of the hereafter? So he is the one who repulses the orphan. Not kind to orphan. Why? Why not to eat up all the belongings and wealth of the orphan? You know, so, so detailed instructions given in the beginning of Surah Nisa about the wealth of the orphans who are under your care. If you eat anything from it, you are eating and you are putting into your stomachs life, coal, money, coal. Burning cinders. Wala yahumu ala ta'amil miskeen. And the second manifestation of their low morality, and he urges not the feeding of the poor and hungry, but to speak of feeding himself. He doesn't ask anybody else also, lest he should ask him. So they were very cunning in this respect. If I say to him, Okay, there are these hungry people, you feed them. He can say, why don't you do it yourself? So, well, I hope Allah come in miskin. You don't say anything to me, I won't say anything to you. That's the gentleman agreement between us. For where will So, woe to the performance of Salah. Salah was there. Because Hajj and Salah, these two things were established by Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam. They have disfigured, they have changed. Number one, the Salah, that was now a mere ritual and nothing else, no spirit. Just as we have made it a ritual, a mere ritual. It's a ritual. Jummah is a ritual. Hajj is a very big ritual. A person who goes for Hajj and comes back, no difference in his behavior or character. As he went there, in the same condition he comes back. When he went there, he was involved in riba, all other things, haram shay. And when he comes back, he started again. So what is the such? Alladinahum fi ansalatihim sahoon. They are not mindful. And they are heedless of the spirit of their salah. What we have done. But in addition they had disfigured the salah also. They used to clapping of hands and whistling with mouths. Tasliyatam wa muka. So it became more of a fun than actually worship. Alladzina hum yuraoon. Whatever virtue was there to feed the hungry, for example, as I quoted Abu Jahl, 
if they fed the hungry, we, we also fed the hungry more than them. But this was to show off, not to please Allah, not to hope the reward in the hereafter. That is out of sight, out of mind. So what can be the purpose of doing anything good except to show it to the people so that they say, oh, he is a noble person, no, he has done a good deed. الَّذِينَ هُمْ يُرَاؤُونَ وَيَمْنَعُونَ الْمَعَاؤُونَ And they go so low regarding human relations that refuse even a small assistance or kindness to others. For example, you know, to borrow some, give me some salt or can I borrow the fire from your fireplace? Even that was, they were not ready to do for each other. So this is the picture of their moral decadence.